Well, a lot of both. Um, the turnover was early. Uh, really, really put us in a bind. Um, but we knew going in, if we turn the ball over against this team, they're, they're going to get out and run. That's when they're at their best. Uh, so not taking care of uh, the ball and valuing possessions. Um, now you're on your heels defensively. So it's twofold. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't think our, uh, our effort, I thought, was, was decent um, for the most part. Uh, there were some lulls, but not a lot of purpose in what we were doing. What are you seeing there as the turnover is going? Um, I think it's a number of areas. Um, a little bit of uncertainty, you know, in our, in our timing. Um, you know, I think at times it's, you know, guys get into us and push us off our spots. And, um, you know, now all of a sudden it's just not as clean. But uh, I think most of them are controllable. Uh, you know, I didn't think we were um, we were very organized. You know, I think um, on, on either end, you know, some things that we've talked about uh, in shoot around and obviously uh, leading up to this game, we've seen some of the similar stuff over the past three games, and we still yet didn't adjust and, and respond the way I wanted us to, to respond. Um, it sounds like there's nothing new. There kind of feels like a same issue um, in the past chunk of the game. What is the message? Yeah, I mean, there's a message of accountability because, um, you know, it, it seems to be a reoccurring theme here uh, where whether we, we stifle offensively, which obviously hurts your defense, but, um, you know, that starting group is, has struggled, you know, and at times it's, uh, it's deflating because, you know, you're searching and trying to find a, a rhythm, a group that will, uh, you know, get things going. And they've struggled to do that in the least past probably uh, – Four or five games. You've spoken about how you're looking for better, solid starts at least, not to fall behind. Did you actually shoot around with any sense that there, that uh, teams aren't focused or, or anything close to that? It, you know, I don't, you know, really read too much into it. I think you'll have a, a sense of where your guys are before the game. Um, at times, you know, I've been a part of many shoot arounds and you can have the best shoot around the world and go out and lay an egg. <laughs> you, you can come out and shoot around and leave the floor and think, man, we're going to get our butts kicked and then go out and play well. So I, I don't know if there's a clear cut correlation between, you know, the shoot around and how you perform at seven o'clock. Now, of, of course, if you're not dialed in, you're not focused, um, you know, that that can affect, you know, your performance. But it's tough to gauge to say, hey, you know, you know I could tell from shoot around that this was going to be a bad game. And I thought the shoot around this morning was, was, was solid. Um, and, you know, they obviously came out and they jumped on us, played with a lot more energy than us. Um, you know, and, and that's a, a team that we've seen. You know, they're, they're, they're getting better incrementally. We're going the wrong way. So we, we have to find a way to kind of refocus and get back to who we need to, who we need to be. When your defense was set tonight, How well did you see your team uh, keep them out of the paint? Obviously, a lot of the paint points came off your turnovers. I get it. But other than that, what did you see from your defense? Um, I mean, I, I think I'd have to to be honest with you. I'd, I'd like to watch the film before I give you a clear-cut answer. But I thought for the most part, it was decent. Uh, we still have to do a better job of you know our one-on-one -on -one containment, you know, showing shrinks behind the the uh, the one-on-one, -on -one, showing a crowd to those drivers uh, because it's. Those guys get downhill, and now all of a sudden they're at the line. You know, it opens up a lot of things. It opens up the driving kick threes, which we saw late. Um, so I think at times it was decent, but uh, it's not still not where it, where it should be. Wes, um, this seems to be the kind of the most difficult stretch from our point of view, stretch that this group has gone through with losing four of the past five. Talk about how it matters, how you guys respond. Is it too simplistic to call it an inflection point here or something? Uh, I don't know what, if we want to call it that or whatever you want to call it. Right now, we, we got to change things. And whether it's changing our energy, changing our focus, um, if it's changing, you know, um, our approach, what, what, whatever that is, it's got to change. Um, 
that's one thing. We're just not making shots, and you know, that's different. But a lot of things that we've we've seen, I think we can control, and we've talked about it at length, and yet haven't done it. Chase. Hey Wes. Um, earlier this season, I asked uh, Spencer about turnovers. He said it's not really like something you can practice, like in terms of there being drills designed to limit turnovers. So as the turnovers have been an issue for a few games, like what can you guys do to sort of right the ship in that regard? Well, I think just our, uh, you know, even practice or shoot arounds, our execution uh, you know, with a little bit more pace, you know, and maybe it's, you know, uh, not necessarily going five on five, but having coaches out there. Uh, we do it quite often as far as how that team that we're going to play that night guards certain actions. Uh, so we just got to do more of that. So now they get a feel for, you know, what that team's going to take away. Um, their setups, the timing, um, how to create leads, um, to make sure they're owning their spots. All those things kind of come into play when you see some of these turnovers. It's not like you know they're up to nine. It's just uh, the timing is off, um, our angles, our, our pace. Um, all those things kind of come together and often lead in you know to turnovers. Wayne. Hey, Coach, after, after the second time playing the Pelicans, was it the adjustments they made or was it just one of those nights tonight? Uh, they did make a few adjustments. Um, you know, they, they blitzed a little bit earlier in the game. It didn't necessarily uh, – I can't say that, that that was the thing that turned the game. I thought their, their overall energy and effort was better. They, they were more physical. They are more aggressive on both ends. And, you know, it showed. The last five you guys have dropped, are you seeing the Man. same – Issues every time, or is it is it something different each game? Uh, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, it's been uh, somewhat of the same things. Um, I think definitely our defensive efforts and um, and offense too. You know, we're not we're not fluid. We're not aggressive. I think we're playing real passive. I think on both ends of the floor, we kind of have this mentality that you know we. We're this really good, good team. They can flip on a light switch, and we're not, we're not like that. You know, like one through fifteen, like me included. Like we're not, we're not those type of guys who can just flip on a switch and you know, turn the game around. Like um, us as starters, we have to be better. We we we've been coming out to crappy starts in the first half and the second half. Um, turnovers have been kicking our butts. I've been saying that the last four games, five games. Um, but I think it's, it's it's a mix of all of those, you know, and then just not being aggressive. You know, when we're being passive is when we make our mistakes. We're real hesitant on offense. We're not sure if we should cut. We're not sure if we should shoot, you know, uh, instead of just being aggressive. You know, if we make a mistake, we make a mistake. But be, go 110% making that mistake, you know. Um, and that's with everybody. Um, we just got to be better. Uh, have an accountability factor out there. Uh, be better at that. Individually, looking yourself in the mirror, what can what can we be? What can I be better at? Um, I can definitely be a better leader. I can be better offensively, obviously, um, and then collectively, we all have to be better def defensively. But more than anything, it's just our will, our will to win. We got to get that back. You know, I think we kind of lost our juices a little bit. When did you first kind of see that hesitation creeping up? You've mentioned the passivity a couple of times so far. Um. I'm not really sure. Um, it's not really a specific day or time or game, you know, to pinpoint it. But you know, you can obviously just over the last few games, it was, it's at least to me, it's been noticeable. You know, um, I just feel like we're we're passing at times and we get stagnant. We get real stagnant. You know, especially on offense. You know, we can't we don't throw the ball to you know Spence and be like, yo, Spence, go to work, or Kuz and be like, yo, Kuz, go to work. Or me and be like, they'll be get us something. Like we we gotta move the ball, move bodies, you know, make sure everybody's involved. And then when we shoot the ball, we gotta shoot with confidence. You know, don't don't hesitate, don't think about it, you know, let it fly. Get a shot up every time because us having 19, 20 turnovers a game is just kicking us out, kicking us right in the butt. A couple weeks ago, or throughout the preseason, early in the season, you and your teammates have said many times that anyone could say anything to each other and hold each other accountable and get improvement. Uh, what, what are you seeing right now? How much is that 
helping your team at the moment? Uh, I mean, we still, we have it. I mean, we still hold each other accountable. I mean, Coach, I mean, probably for the first time, Coach came in and cussed us the hell out at halftime and after the game. Like, and that's, that's what we needed. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a shame we didn't come out and give them more fire. Um, but, you know, the, the accountability is there. You know, we're, we're calling each other out. We're, you know, constructively criticizing each other. There's no point in fingering. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's blame. Because we're all making the same mistakes. You know, it's not like just one guy just, just doing the same thing. We're all kind of beating a dead horse right now. Um, so we got to be better. We, I mean, obviously, it starts with yourself individually. We all have to look at ourselves and see how we can be better. And, you know, we all have to bring a better care factor and energy to the game. We have to create our own energy. Um, and then ultimately, you know, come together and win. That's that's all that matters. You know, it doesn't matter what's going on on the floor. Uh, you know, come together to get the win. After a game like this, how much do the players speak with each other and say something along the lines, paraphrasing you, all of us have got to be better? Uh, I mean, we have it. We, we did it a little bit tonight. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but, you know, we we understand where we are. You know, we, we can't get big-headed. You know, we can't get too high, too low. Um, you know, we're not not the worst team. We're not the best team right now. You know, we have to figure out. We got to get our juices back, you know. Uh, we were playing really good basketball, you know, the first few games, first 10-plus 10, 10 games. Uh, and we, we kind of slipped the last five or six, so we got to be better. Um, and that's on me as a leader. I have to hold us more accountable, hold myself accountable. Um, you know, make sure we're ready to go, you know, from the gate. And then at halftime, making sure we're ready. We're coming out with better starts, too. Um, but I think we'll be all right. You know, it's, it's still early. Um, but it's, it's good we're, we're figuring this stuff out now and, and not later. So. Chase. Hey, Brad, um, 17 or more turnovers for you guys in each of the last four games. In your experience, when a team goes through a stretch like this, like what's needed to kind of collectively snap out of that and, and start protecting the ball better? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's moving the ball better. It's our decision making. You know, it's, it's a matter of being decisive with everything. You know, if you're going to pass, pass the ball. Uh, if you're going to cut, cut. You know, if you're going to shoot, shoot it. You know, I think a lot of times we get indecisive. And it could come from, you know, just us being getting used to playing a little bit more, uh, getting used to our schemes, um, and then ultimately not being as tight. You know, like I said earlier, just be aggressive. You know, as long as we get a shot up every time, we don't care. I tell the guys, I don't care if we miss a 1,000 shots tonight. But us giving, getting a shot up every time gives us a better opportunity than turning it over and giving them an opportunity with numbers, you know. So especially against an elite athletic team like that, you know, they pride themselves in getting out in transition. So. We kind of fell right into the, in their hands, you know. And that's that's been the last couple of games. Charlotte's been like that. Miami's like that. They're all athletic, great defensive teams, who you know who take advantage of your mistakes on the offensive end. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily chase say it's um, the type of pass. And obviously, some passes are bad, um, and some are you know kind of careless. But more or less, we can control those. You know, I think it's more or less our decision making and being more confident in what we're doing on the floor. And just make sure we get a shot up. Wayne. Hey, how you doing, Brad? Uh, the first time you guys played New Orleans, you was able to pull it out and come from behind. What was different tonight? Did they give you a different look or was it just one of those nights? Uh, I mean, they had it going. It was real, it was real tough. I mean, we. We couldn't shut their water off for, for anything tonight, you know. Um, and even the first game we played them, I didn't play the first game, but in watching it, like, they were – B.I. was aggressive. You know, he wasn't uh, – excuse me. Uh, he was super aggressive from the first game, and, you know, he kind of came out tonight was the same way. And granted, we, we got a lot of big stops down the end, you know, in the first game and, and closed them out. But tonight I think it's – their approach was just, you know, we're going to be more physical, you know, uh, we're going to be the tougher team. And they kind of, they definitely were. And on top of that, on offense, they were aggressive and they made shots. Um, I think their first 20 points, like 18 were in the paint or something like that. Like, so, you know, they were taking it to us. They were aggressive, you know, and they were, they were making it known. So 
It was a difference maker between the two games. They were they were the aggressors, and we won. Brad, the same thing, but are you seeing the same issues crop up? You guys have dropped four of the last five. Does it look different every game to you, or similar things? Um, I think similar things to a certain extent. We allowed people to get leads, and then uh, obviously today we weren't able to fight back, um, so we ended up losing by like thirty. What does the message change after those games when it's the same stuff? message from Unseld or you or whoever? Oh, no, nah, I think um, everybody feels like they need to look, look themselves in the mirror and look everybody out of eye. Just uh, get more effort, get back to a defensive mentality. Obviously, they had like, what, 120, something like that. Um, Brad said he thought the turnovers are in part due to a little bit of indecision. What are you seeing on that front particularly? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. I think uh, turnovers definitely hurt us tonight. I don't know, it was 20 turnovers. Um, unacceptable. And yeah, I, I think uh, indecision can can uh, be a factor in that. How, how does your team snap out of this and regain positive momentum and start making progress again? Uh, I mean, you know, getting back to a defensive mentality and then obviously uh, not turning the ball over. Uh, you stop the other team, you give yourself more possessions, a chance to score. Uh, it probably bodes well. I think it's just game 18 tonight. Learn something new about everybody every day. What are you learning about your coach that perhaps wasn't apparent before this? Um, you mean since preseason, or just like because of tonight's loss? No, I mean over this last five-game stretch. In terms of this is a team that, for the most part, had success, and now this is the first real stretch where the team has generally not played well. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I don't, I don't uh, think that there was anything that's that's changed too much. I think he's a pretty consistent guy, um, so it's a credit to him. I mean, obviously he's on us a little bit right now, which he should be. I mean, we're not playing well, but um, he's not a sky is falling type of guy.